Richmond Torque Marker. Uh, what we've done with this design is try to make a single step torque marker to avoid having to mark once pre-op and then again in the operating room to try to get it more accurate and less chance of error. There's a couple modifications to this particular one. The first thing is that the weight is in the back, so you can put your fingers pretty close. I'm not ready to mark the patient yet, but if I want to put my fingers really close to be steady, or if I'm more comfortable holding it back further, I still don't hit the weight. That's the first thing. The second thing of the modification was a change to angulation that comes off the actual face of the marker. I used to have trouble when I do this of actually coming through and hitting the patient's lower eyelid, which I found quite challenging. So on this one, I've basically we've already set it up to mark at the 90 degree axis. I put a little bit of uh, ink on the marker. And Kathy, if you can hold the upper eyelid, please. And your job is to look straight. So with the patient sitting upright yeah. as best as possible. Yeah, keep your chin straight and look straight at it. You can grab the upper lid a little bit better. There we go. I like to dry off with the Q-tips so the marks stick a little bit. And then just let the weight steady. And once you're steady, just go and mark at 90 degrees.